Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Veera Cloud Architect. In this session, we are going to discuss about AWS NAT Gateways. NAT stands for Network Address Translator. Imagine, usually we will be having a web servers in public subnet and uh, our database servers in private subnet. And web server will be having a internet access through internet gateway. And databases uh, will be in a private subnet so they don't have any internet access to in some cases for example uh, usually we get like you no know, monthly patch updates for the db servers so to uh, update those servers we need a internet access but we cannot attach db servers directly into internet gateway rather we can add nat gateway to give a safe internet access So NAT gateway will be having a public IP, elastic public IP uh, to connect these uh, DB servers uh, through internet, they use these uh, elastic IPs and futures of NAT gateway is highly available. So like whenever like you know we access NAT gateway like we can access through uh, like you know multiple availability zone and which can provide a high availability and automatic failover traffic as well and scalable NAT gateway can automatically uh, handle like you no know, multiple servers for example like we can have multiple DB server in the same subnet and we can uh, up, uh, like you know, update uh, uh, those servers uh, automatically and security NAT gateway gives uh, like you know protect our servers uh, when it goes over the internet so that uh, we don't uh, get any like malicious attack and all and it is fully managed service from aws so there are like you know uh, many underlying uh, infrastructure to uh, boost up our nat gateway also the integration is uh, very easy it, like we can integrate with uh, vpc ec2 and f3 and Logging and monitoring. NAT Gateway has a detailed monitoring in CloudWatch so that we can uh, troubleshoot the issues of your network and cost effective. So like in NAT Gateway, while creating NAT Gateway, we don't get any charges. We do get charges for a elastic IP, but uh, for like you know creating a NAT Gateway, we don't get any other uh, charges apart from that. But it can like you know only the data process like you know we have to pay for it. and it supports ipv6 as well without wasting any time let me go uh, into nat gate demo so i have two vpcs here i'm going to use cloud synapse vpc for this demo and this vpc has two subnets the cloud synapse sn01 is my public subnet and cloud synapse sn02 is private subnet let me quickly show you that one in route table. So this is my route table. And if you can see the subnet association, I have only Cloud Synapse SN01. So this is my public subnet. So I have created two EC2 instance on this. So one on the web server, which is in uh, public subnet and database server, which is in uh, server, like private server. So this server has internet access and this uh, server does not have the internet access. Let me quickly connect those servers. Equal to is my username. Also, okay, I have connected with my EC2 instance. So here I am going to like because since I don't have the uh, the private server does not have the internet access, I cannot connect it from my PuTTY. So I am going to use this server to connect because these two in a same uh, network, right? So I can uh, go to public server and from public server I can uh, connect the private server. So now let me create the key first because I don't have the key in here. Let me 
demo.m I'm going to give a name as demo.m and my key file is in download let me open just quickly copy the temp file and then paste it and since it is uh, open to machine i have to give a readable permissions for the key for that chmod change mod 400 for readable permission and demo so let me quickly connect this server so here you can find ssh copy ssh hyphen i demo.pem open to at this public ip this, sorry private ip i want to paste it here ok so let me quickly get the private ip of the instance so let me go back to the instance this is my database server and this is going to be my private ip and i will give this so now I have connected with the private server. So let me sh quickly show you. Uh, so, it's, so it's connected now. So, you. so let me try to ping Google. Ping Google. So now I don't have internet access, so I couldn't do the Google. Okay, let me quickly uh, create a NAT gateway now. So NAT gateway, so it, it will be available in VPC side. Go to VPC and then NAT gateway. Left hand side, you can find NAT gateway. Create NAT gateway and give a name for NAT gateway. I'm giving NAT as well. So and then subnet. Okay, NAT gateway needs to be created in uh, public subnet. Uh, let me show you quickly the image once again. So, so this is my NAT image, right? So the NAT gateway should be created in public subnet, and then we can connect the like we can attach into uh, our uh, private server subnet. So that's what I'm going to do now. So let me. This is my uh, public subnet. I'm choosing. I'm creating an ADB in public subnet, and then so the connectivity type. It there are two types: public and private. So public means like we can uh, we can connect uh, uh, like even like outside of our VPC. Uh, like if you have a S3 bucket and all, we can connect. Otherwise, if we are going to use only for a private network, then we can use uh, private. So, which means within our subnets. If we are connecting within our subnets, we can choose private. Okay, uh, like I will create it for a public, and then this is the elastic IP which NAT gateway is going to use. I don't have any elastic IP right now, so I'm going to allocate one. So now my elastic IP is allocated that's all and then create NAT gateway so now NAT gateway is being, uh, being created and once we create a NAT gateway we have to create a route table for NAT gateway create route table give a name cloud synapse NAT Okay, and then VPC, we have to choose our VPC. And that's all, create route. There are two things in route table. First thing is routes, edit routes. And we have to add 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. .0. And then NAT gateway, we have to choose. Okay, so this is our NAT gateway, which we have created already. Choose that and save changes. So the NAT gateway has been added in our route table. Now we have to attach subnet. So we have to attach private subnet to give a internet access. 
so this is my private subnet and let me choose that and save association so now i have created nat gateway and i have attached i have created a route table and i have attached uh, nat gateway as well as my private subnet let me quickly go back to my ec2 instance this is my private ec2 instance and to see let me ping with google now so now i got the internet access so now it is pinging so that's how we can create uh, nat gateway uh, so that this uh, private server will be getting a internet access this is my private server so which is which got the internet access even if you want to install something we can do and update we can do so this is also possible and even like you know if you want to do any other uh, installation we can do so that's everything for now let's catch up with another video thanks for watching